From the local arena, now it's time to take a look at the international desk. This is Prime World. I'm Arshad Nazimuddin. Stay with us. Another blast in Pakistan. Dozens are killed in a suicide bombing at a funeral position in the northwest of the country. Officials said the funeral was for the wife of a pro-government ethnic Pashtun tribal elder in the Mathani area in the troubled Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province. It was being attended by many anti-Taliban militiamen in northwest Pakistan. Several anti-Taliban tribal groups are based in Mathani and they are often targeted by the insurgents. The area is close to the Khyber and Dara Adam Kale tribal regions, both of which were Taliban strongholds until anti-insurgency operations were launched recently. The attack comes a day after at least 26 people were killed and more than 120 injured in a car bomb explosion at a gas station in the city of Faisalabad. The Taliban said they were behind yesterday's attack. Foreign Ministers of India, Brazil and South Africa meet in New Delhi for the 7th Trilateral Commission meeting. With the three countries serving as non-permanent members of the United Nations Security Council, the ministers reaffirmed their commitment to the reform of the UN, particularly the Security Council, through its expansion in the permanent and non-permanent categories. They call for increased representation of developing countries in both in order to improve its efficiency, representation and legitimacy and for it to better meet the contemporary challenges faced by the international community. IBSA was formed in 2003 as an informal group for political consultations between the three countries. Now this is from Venice. More than 60,000 people celebrate the end of the spectacular carnival festivities in Venice. The day known as Mardi Gras or Shrove Tuesday culminated in a silent water parade at midnight. At least 10 traditional rowboats and 30 gondolas lit only by candles floated along the Grand Canal from Rialto to the basin of San Marco following a trumpet placed on top of the first boat in the parade. All the artificial lights along the Grand Canal were turned off and the route of the parade was lit only by torches. The parade was the last event of the Mardi Gras and it drew the curtain of this year's carnival dedicated to the 19th century. Hundreds of paper balloons were released into the night sky at the end of the parade to symbolize the end of festivities. The carnival brings 10 days of music and dance to the renowned St. Mark's Square and the venues around Venice. Every year, thousands of tourists gather to relive a unique experience in an atmosphere that recalls ancient times. The Venice Carnival dates back to 1268. Thousands of Vietnamese work hard to net a giant turtle, considered sacred by many, but in desperate need of medical attention. Dozens of workers waded chest deep through the chilly green water in Hanoi's Huan Kiem Lake to try to capture the giant freshwater creature for the first time so it could be pulled to an island and treated. It is one of the world's most endangered turtles, one of only four Rafferty's Swinhoi believed to be alive today, but its value to the nation transcends the natural world. The turtle traces its roots back through hundreds of years of local folklore and some even believe the animal that lives in the lake today is the same mythical creature said to have helped a Vietnamese king defend of the Chinese nearly six centuries ago. Experts say the Wan Kiem turtle is more likely 80 to 100 years old. Only three others of its kind are known to be alive. One in another lake in Vietnam and two in a Chinese zoo.
Now this is a fascinating story. A cat burglar returns stolen goods. Amazing. Take a look. Neighbors in San Mateo, California are getting back their stolen goods. Hundreds of items pilfered over three years, all by one culprit, Dusty the Cat. Nicknamed Klepto, Dusty stalks the streets of San Mateo at night. He's taken car wash sponges, clothes, undergarments and even bath towels. But his favorite target seems to be bathing suits. Dusty's owners say they used to try and return things, but they just kept piling up. Now they've got some advice for their neighbors. Dusty's owner, Jean Chu, says, Don't leave anything outside that you don't want gone. And if you're missing something, come to our house. His kleptomania has earned him a profile on the Animal Planet channel and now more local fame. Redwood City has invited him to be the Grand Marshal of the upcoming Pet Parade. Pet Entertainment Battle Los Angeles is what we have for you tonight. Here is the trailer. Battle Los Angeles is an upcoming 2011 action science fiction film directed by Jonathan Lebesman and starring Aaron Eckhart, Michelle Rodriguez, Michael Pena, and Zinga Blake, Neo, and Bridget Moynihan. The events of the film are inspired by the Battle of Los Angeles, a falsely suspected air raid of Los Angeles that took place during World War II. For years, there have been documented cases of UFO sightings around the world, Buenos Aires, Seoul, France, Germany, and China. But in 2011, what were once just sightings will become a terrifying reality when Earth is attacked by unknown forces. As people everywhere watch the world's great cities fall, Los Angeles becomes the last stand for mankind in a battle no one expected. It's up to a Marine Staff Sergeant and his new platoon to draw a line in the sand as they take on an enemy unlike any they've never encountered before. Battle Los Angeles will be released on Friday. And with that, it's time to wrap up Wednesday's edition of Prime World. Thanks for joining us. Now it's time to link up with the main news desk. Thank you, Arshad. And on sports, the 25th encounter of the ICC Cricket World Cup between co-hosts India and the Netherlands is currently underway at the 